I drink. Nerves. The nerves try to talk to me and I shut them up by drinking. I drink so that I, uh, I won't talk about something important to keep from feeling. Because if I feel, uh, I will talk and that will surely change the spirit of the room dangerously. I drink to keep apart from other people, to be invulnerable, to become wholly separated from my spirit, to become soulless. My soul is a, is a burden to me. I drink you know, because I want to be an animal, love no one and create nothing. I drink because I, it's the only thing that isn't painful. Being drunk is sad and sweet and partial. Pieces of me become left out. You know? All the moving and shaking pieces become invisible. And when they become invisible, then it actually becomes powerful. And eventually they take over like some mindless force, which is actually a really intelligent part of me. Because it knows what I really want. It rises up. It's blind, immoral, absolutely true. And therefore, <laughs> it's beautiful. And it's terrifying. You know, I act with the purity of a character in a dream. I'm alone at night. But people who see me and talk to me, they recognize me that, that I'm a natural force, unjudgeable, strangely <laughs> attractive. I stand by a, a barrel fire with strangers in a train yard and the flames rise up like yellow sheets and the man strikes the barrel on the side and the buckets sparks Glisten in our eyes. <laughs> We're all drunk. We think of nothing. We have no history. We, we cannot act or love or contribute. But we can drink. <laughs> and we can watch the flame. And afterward, there will be sleep. unwanted and everything will be bad